Fellow EDC enthusiasts, I'm Dean or welcome to the channel, Genetic Modified Viking. This is a topic, it's a hot topic. Metal Complex did a video, Neves did a follow-up, Sharif did a follow-up, and I'm just going to throw my two cents worth in. And to show you that I'm not doing this just to pile on, back before I started the channel, uh, there were some topics that I thought, well, I'd like to talk about at some point. And one of the topics is Knives on the Secondary. And here is my note in my phone. You can see there, February 23rd, 2023. And I specifically put a topic there to eventually talk about it. So now I guess it's time to talk about it. So if you, if you haven't seen the videos, you should probably go watch and inform your own opinion. Um, uh, Complex thinks it's a horrible thing for people to buy and flip. Neve said, it's a free market. There's nothing you can do about it. Sharif said, yeah, it kind of sucks, but guess what? It's a free market. So it, it, there's some blend going on there. And here's the reality. Um, it's been around for ages. People buying things, looking to make a profit. We are a free market capitalist society based on supply and demand. There, this is the way it is. This is the way things have been done forever. Does it suck? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks to have to pay more than what you thought you had to pay or what you think you should pay for something. But guess what? Get over it. It becomes really, you. it's just whining about it. Whining about the system. Example, he says he doesn't agree with it if you buy and flip it, if that's your full intent. But collecting something is okay, which I'm a collector. I collect a lot of knives. I collect a lot of stuff. And when I collect, I go into it with the collector is collector's mind in that at some point you may, you may need to sell something. And if you do, you need to keep that in mind so that when you buy something, you buy something that you think is a safe investment. You just don't have a ton of money just to shell out and just buy whatever the hell you want to buy. You buy with the intent of it being an investment. Otherwise you're an idiot. One of the things, um, he says it's wrong to buy and uh, sell something to, to flip it. And he said primarily that this whole thing is wrong to protect the newbies, the new people getting into the hobby. It happens in every hobby. It happens in every industry. It happens in every product that's ever been for sale. It, it's, it's part of our free market capitalist system of, of supply and demand, period, the end. When I first got into this business, I paid too much for a lot of the knives that I sought on the secondary because I heard people gushing. I heard the reviewers gushing about how awesome this thing was and you had to have it. They didn't qualify it and say, well, you had to have it, but don't only pay retail price, right? So I've been victim of even reviewers in them promoting knives, knives that maybe they didn't necessarily like, but they promoted it because their buddy said, hey, promote this, I gotta sell this. So there's a lot going on and how are you gonna regulate this whole thing? We're gonna get back to uh, buying to flip here. Uh, I, I kind of digressed a bit. Um, one of the things that Complex said is, don't do it, don't spend 800 bucks on the Swiss buoy. And he said, quote unquote, you don't want it that bad. He said, trust me, you don't want it that bad. In a week or two, you'll find something you want more at a better price. How does he know what they're going to want and not want? How does he know their motives and in, in, in their intentions? How, what if they're buying it to keep it for a few days and then turn around and sell it because the market is still high? So come on. You, 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 there's too many conditions and caveats, like Sharif had said, built into this whole thing. And how are you going to change it? You know, the thing is to think that somehow uh, his influence, that he is in a platform or his influence is going to change the system is really kind of arrogant. You're not going to change the system. The system is what it is, and you're not going to change it. Um, let's see here. He said that if collectors buy and then they run into uh, financial hardships at some point and then they can turn around and sell it and make a huge profit, that that's okay. Why? So all we're talking about is the time frame from when you buy to sell. So that's kind of BS in my opinion. Uh, where do you draw the line? Um, I buy knives. I buy knives sometimes. I'll buy two of them. I'll buy one that I can use and then I, I buy one. I put it on the shelf. Is that stupid? Maybe, but guess who's going to pay the penalty if it was stupid? Me. I run the risk. I may keep it and I may sell it to another reviewer. I may buy a two of something knowing that this other reviewer is going to want it or may want it. And then 
If it's a reviewer, I will sell it for what I, I paid for it. I won't sell it to make a profit, but that is the market. If someone says to me, oh, hey, you have this knife. I hear you have this knife. I'll give you 300 bucks for it. Oh, no, 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 no. I only paid two for it. If it's worth 300 to him, I took the risk, risk and I purchased that knife and I've been sitting on it for a year. Really? You're, you're going to somehow say that that's unethical? I don't think so. I would expect to pay something more, pay more for something that I want, especially if someone's been sitting on the thing for a year. Here's an analogy. And I gave this to one reviewer. I said, hey, it was a reviewer. Uh, it was the same topic. And he talked about how horrible it was and unethical it was for someone to buy something and turn around and flip it and sell it for a profit. I said, well, here, here's the analogy. Back in the day, prior to the internet, when you wanted to go to a concert, you had to go and wait at the box office. You had to wait for the box office to open up and then you could get your tickets. On really big popular concerts, people sat in line. Some people sat in line for a day, two days, three days. They would camp out. They'd bring their tents, their sleeping bags. Now, this guy, this person is going to invest the time and the resources and the inconvenience and the dedication to buy these concert tickets. Now, you want him to sell them to you for what he paid for them? Come on, you've got to be kidding me. I would expect to compensate him for the trouble that he went through to get those tickets. It, it's no different with the knives. Completely the same situation. Neves brought up the good point. He said, what, what about the guy that goes to Blade Show? He spends $2,000 $2, on just getting there. Accommodations, the rental car, the airfare, whatever it might be. Two grand, two grand plus. Two grand is on the low side. And now he goes there, spends five grand, buys some knives, turns around and flips them for a profit that's wrong. He's lucky if he can break even. At some point, it gets ridiculous to try to regulate this and to think that you're going to somehow influence the system. This is our system. It's a free market capitalist society based upon supply and demand period if you don't like the price don't pay the price it's that simple you know the other thing is our uh, pro sports tickets look at the price of sport pro sports tickets and how they've skyrocketed in the last 25 30 years guess what if you're going to complain about it don't go to the event i don't go to these events because i don't think it's worth spending the amount of money that they want for these tickets. It's just not worth it to me. I can watch it on TV. So at any rate, that's my two cents worth. I think it's ridiculous. You're not going to change a free market society. And if you think that the free market society needs to do something different, it's not a free market society. At any rate, that's my rant. This is Diener. I'm signing out. Till the next time.